Hey guys, welcome to Math in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to be finishing up our final part of understanding functions, which is really about compositions of functions. So let's get into it here. Uh, you've probably seen these things before if you're in an Algebra 2 or above class. Sometimes you'll see it when they write it like fog. Sometimes they'll write it like this, which we say f of g of x. And really, this should say the same way, f of g. This way is probably the better one to really understand what's going on. If you saw in the previous videos here, if you have f of something, and there's something in the middle like a 5 or a q or a 2, that means that's what you plug in for x. So for example, if we had like f of 5, I go to my f equation, and when I hit the x, I would plug in a 5. So what changes now is instead of having like a 5 on the inside, we have g of x on the inside, which you can see right there. So what I'm going to do is go and find my g of x, and that's what goes in there instead of like a 5 or something like that. So again, I'm going to say, ah, well, g of x is 2x. So that means in my holder, instead of a 5, I'm going to have a 2x. And there we go. That's really all it is. If they go the other way around, g of f of x, you just do it backwards there. I hope that clears up some of the confusion. If you have any more questions on this or like more detail, please always feel free to post a comment or send us a message. We'll be happy to do anything else to post more videos that might help you out there. All right, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Wrap in 60 seconds.